according to the steps on the page that you just copied into your notes, we're going to follow this third step, and that's to find the y-intercept, which is pretty easy to do. The math is very simple on this one. If we were to make our x and our y t-chart, and we call x zero, it's going to have to be zero if it hits the y-axis at some point. We can just substitute our x value into our equation, and it looks like this. So that's a zero. That turns to zero when you do the calculation. So y is equal to 8. And that's our ordered pair for the y-intercept. Let's plot it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's our y-intercept. Is 0, 8. That tells us that it crosses the y-axis at 0, 8. Now at this eight. point, we could draw in our, our next part of it and realize that the axis of symmetry is really the reflection of this parabola from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. It's like we put a mirror right there on that dotted line, on that axis of symmetry, and it reflects everything that you see to the other side. Or you can think of it as a fold line. If you folded this parabola together on the, the uh, dotted line, you would find that this point matches that point. Well, there's a point out here that matches this one. And we can find that either by noticing our calculation here, or noticing the graph, or doing a calculation. So this particular point is one, two, three, three spaces from the axis of symmetry, which means that the reflected point also has to be three spaces out. Well, this, is, this point is at 0, 8. So we know that the, the uh, y value of the ordered pair that reflects it is also an 8. And we also know that if you go three steps to the dotted line and three steps more, you would need a 6. So 6, 8 should work. We can test it, though by putting it into our formula. If, if um, x is equal to 6, the, we would have 6 squared minus 6 times 6 plus 8. y equals 36 minus 36 plus 8. So when x is 6, y is 8, and our ordered pair is correct. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 8. So the point would be approximately there, and we can finish off our parabola. So you have followed the, the steps to the graphing of the equation without picking points and doing all the math calculations. Those were some shortcuts by using some of the, of the fu formulas that you just copied into your notes. And I used the same um, quadratic equation that we used for picking points and, and graphing it totally in a different video. I'll give you one more example.